How to fix update KV5062660 failed to install in Windows 11 24H2. Hello friends, follow the steps to fix any installation problems with July 2025 preview cumulative update for Windows 11 24H2. Start with the first method which is install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. After clicking the link you will reach this page. Here two files are available. One for x64 based systems and another for ARM64 based systems. Check your system type to ensure which file is compatible with your system. Click on start. Select settings. Go to system. Scroll down. Click on about. Here is system type. 64 bit operating system x64 based processor this file is compatible with my system check yours and click on the respective download button click on both the links one by one let the files download once completed click on the folder icon Right click on KV5062660 This file Select OK Preparing the installation Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Click on Yes Copying packages to the Windows update cache After this process is completed you will have to restart your computer let the process complete until then we jump to the second method which is run windows update troubleshooter click on search type troubleshoot click on troubleshoot settings select other troubleshooters for windows update click on run Select I can download installer and install an update. Can we run the Windows update automated diagnostic? Click on yes. Windows update diagnostic failed to run. Microsoft has replaced uh, the legacy troubleshooters with get help app which is not working perfectly now. We are providing a link to the legacy troubleshooter in the description of this video. Click on the link and run the legacy troubleshooter once you click the link a zip file will be downloaded click on the folder icon click on extract all select extract open this folder right click on this file select open click on advanced select run as administrator Check Windows Update. Click on Next. Pending system changes that require a reboot has been detected. Click on Next. Service registration is missing or corrupt. Fixed. Check for pending restart. Since we are installing the Windows Update. So this is showing. Restart your computer and then check for updates. The next method is fix installation using Windows Update. Windows 11 has introduced a new tool to fix any Windows Update error. To run this, click on Start, select Settings, click on System, go to Recovery. Fix problems using uh, Windows Update. Click on Reinstall now. After clicking this, go to Windows Update Settings. In a sort file, you will get a link. Using that, reinstall the Windows Update. Let's come to the first method, which was install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. The installing is completed. Click on Restart now. I have completed installing the preview cumulative update. 
in the update history you can see update for windows kb 506 to 660 is installed if the issue still persists then reset windows update components click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator yes go to the video description you will find these commands there run these commands copy the first line paste into the command prompt press enter second line paste into the command prompt press enter do you want to continue this operation type y and press enter copy the third line paste into the command prompt hit enter in the same way run all these commands after running these commands close the command prompt close other running task and restart your computer then try to install the update if the windows update is not being installed until now then uh, modify services click on search type services click on services here we will make change in four services that can affect uh, windows update process the first one is uh, app readiness right click on this service select properties for every service we will make change the startup type will be automatic and service must be running if the startup type is not automatic you will have to click on this drop down and select automatic and if the service status is showing stopped then we will click on start for the app readiness service startup type is automatic we have already selected it and the service is stopped so click on start click on apply click on ok right click on app readiness select restart do the same with background intelligent transfer service this one right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic and click on start click on apply click on ok right click on the background intelligent transfer service select restart now come to the cryptographic services this one right click on this service select properties the startup type is already automatic and the service is running so nothing is needed here click on ok right click on this service and select restart then look for windows update this service right click on this service select properties startup type is automatic and the service is running so nothing is needed here also click on ok right click on windows update and select restart after that close the services window and then try to install the update if the issue still persists then uninstall third party antivirus program if installed right click on start select installed apps find the antivirus program in the list to be fair i have not installed any third party antivirus i am showing you an example here suppose this is the third party antivirus then click on three dots for this program click on uninstall again click on uninstall yes if an uninstallation wizard appears then follow the on screen instructions until the removal is completed after uninstalling restart your computer and then try to install the update if the problem is still occurring then there might be something wrong with the system files or windows image file so run system files checker and dism tools click on search type cmd select run as administrator click on yes go to the video description you will find these commands there copy the dism restore health command 
paste into the command prompt and hit enter then copy the sfc scan now command paste into the command prompt hit enter close the command prompt close other running programs and restart your computer then check for updates and try to install it if any of the methods don't work then you will need to perform in place upgrade for this launch a browser type windows 11 download press enter click on download windows 11 this link scroll down and reach this section download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices click on select download and select windows 11 multi edition iso for x64 devices if your device is arm64 based then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly for x64 devices select this option and click on confirm select the product language check the language of your windows system click on start settings time and language language and region windows display language is english united states click on uh, choose one and select english united states if your system has different language then choose the different language here and click on confirm click on 64 bit download let the download complete once completed click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar go to downloads which is generally the download folder right click on the just downloaded iso file select mount then right click on setup.exe select open click on yes and check this box this process consumes much more time so uncheck this box and click on next for applicable notices and license terms click on accept Finally, click on install. Your computer will start multiple times during the installation. Wait for the process to complete. The preview cumulative update will be installed along with this uh, in place upgrade. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.